Hey guys, so I am just finishing up filming the sheep milk lotion tutorial. And if you don't know who I am, my name is Amika. I own Copia Cove Icelandic Sheep here in Sheridan, Montana, and I make all sorts of crafty things with my sheep milk, my sheep fleeces, and my sheep pelts. Um, you can get more information on my crafty stuff over at DIY Sheep Crafts. It's a Facebook group or shepherdlikeagirl.com. And sorry for the weird angle here. Like I said, I am just finishing up the tutorial on the sheep milk lotion. So I am just packaging up a couple bottles here. We made a cocoa vanilla scent today, which is why it's a little bit of a cocoa color instead of that beautiful, creamy, milky white color that I usually get from my lotions. Um, you can see sort of the aftermath, my recipe sheets over here, my blender. Um, but I'm just packaging here and I want to show you how I do that. So I um, package, I load up my lotion into a Ziploc bag. I cut the corner off. See that right there? So it's like an icing like you would for a cake. And these are four fluid ounce bottles that I like to use. I like them because they're not plastic and they're reusable and you have a pump top so that you're not sticking your fingers in lotion and getting bacteria in there, especially with the sheet milk. That's really important that you're not touching it all the time. So um, like I said, this is fluid ounces. So the, um, the, what the scale is for is to measure the weight. So I know that there is a certain weight that I fill this to that it will not overflow when I stick my pump top in and then it gives me really nice consistent results for each of my bottles of lotion. So everybody is getting the same weight of lotion, even though it's labeled for fluid ounces because that is the volume that the bottle holds. I package for my own sanity with the scale. So it makes it really consistent and then I'm not getting overflow messes everywhere. So I almost reached my weight. There. I'm gonna tap over here where it's not super annoying for you guys. Make sure that lotion is down. And then I put my pump top in and there is no crazy overflowing. It's perfect. So there's my lotion. I'm, I'll label it. I have an event coming up next weekend. And um, so you guys know my lotions sold out. So I did an event a couple weeks ago. I had almost 40 bottles of lotion. These four ounce bottles completely sold out, sold out, gone. People went crazy. And the reason why I think is because it's unique. I was the only person there with sheet milk lotion. There were lots of soaps there, but I was the only person with lotion. So it was unique and it's a fantastic product. If you haven't seen my recipe, that is gonna come out on the DIY Sheep Crafts blog on Saturday, this Saturday. Okay, so two days you have to wait and you'll get this wonderful recipe. It's super moisturizing, but not greasy. I absolutely love it. It's perfect for Montana. You can use all sorts of essential oils to um, make your fragrances, or you can get fragrance oils. But I prefer the essential oils because they are more natural. And this is, I call it my master lotion, my master batch. So this is my base lotion. I just made it. It's still warm out of the pot. Um, this doesn't have any um, fragrance in it at all. And what I do, just a little secret for you guys, I make a big batch of plain lotion and then I separate it out so I can make my fragrances. So I have a really consistent product. The only difference is the smell because I found a recipe that I love. And again, I will share exactly that recipe with you in two days on the DIY Sheep Crafts blog and that's shepherdlikeagirl.com or you can just search DIY Sheep Crafts on Facebook and um, I'm sure the information will pop up for you. So I'm gonna say bye for now, guys. I hope to see you over at DIY Sheep Crafts and thanks for joining me today. Any questions, just stick them in the comments.